Nisambula friends, welcome to Fiji. Today we are going to take a tour of Suva. So we will be starting from the Suva point and we are going to head um, through the town, through the Nasese area and um, we will continue um, through to uh, Albert Park by the GPH, we'll go to the center point Suva through Tapu Center and um, we will make a loop around and check out some other places as we go along uh, so it, as you typically know Suva is a very rainy area um, unlike the western side which uh, is generally dry so um, today being uh, June 15th 2023 uh, here we are at uh, the Suva point and as you can see as I'm driving along um, it's continuously raining and just by looking at all these uh, the, the, the water on the road and the murky clouds um, even though it's June uh, it's supposed to be Fiji's winter it's still fairly warm so no need to bring a jacket or anything if you are traveling from um, northern countries colder countries uh, so it's really very very pleasant out there so just on a quick side note, when I was much younger, I uh, came here with my uh, family and my parents and my uncles and aunties and uh, after the end of the day picnic over here at Suva Point, uh, they kind of forgot me and they all packed into my uncle's van and, and then they left and I guess somewhere along the way uh, they realized that uh, the five year old me was missing so this they decided to turn back and um, some nice gentleman had picked me up already and uh, um, was headed back and as a five six year old uh, whatever I was I think it was about that I recognized the van and so he chased the my uncle's van back down to Suva Point picked me up and I was reunited with my family so there you know a little bit about my little uh, incident at Suva Point uh, something I will never forget <laughs> I would have been uh, brought up in a Guju home and uh, been speaking Gujarati um, probably done uh, some things different uh, in the course of my life anyway uh, as we continue uh, we head out of um, the Suva point it's called My Suva Picnic Park um, and then we continue uh, connect back to the Queen Elizabeth Road and Queen Elizabeth Road will take us all the way along the coast um, to uh, the Pacific Theological College and Nasese and uh, through um, very nice places but I think um, there was some road construction going on uh, so they made a detour and I'm not exactly sure how we were able to reconnect to the, the Queen Elizabeth Road as you can see to the left they kind of closed off the road so we were not sure but we saw another vehicle exiting so I decided to, to turn in there anyways and um, I'm glad which you know we did because it is very nice you know the drive um, kind of confusing as you can see the road was open but the way they blocked it there was um, a little tricky so on the right hand side is um, some park that I cannot remember so if my viewers do remember what that park was um, some kind of gaming park I, I totally forgot um, please you can write down in the comments and let me know um, to the left I think this is part of the University of the South Pacific something over there many years ago uh, there was an abandoned hovercraft that was parked out there and we would go and admire that um, that was uh, a thing you know uh, in dry weather to go and kind of hang out on on top of that and being kind of a little kaidolo which means um, a little <laughs> uh, like jungle or something <laughs> uh, and then all these areas here um, were kind of a little different and I remember after Ram Naomi or some prayers um, we would come and then um, put all the flowers and everything give it to the ocean and uh, uh, park the big bus um, forget uh, the Fiji buses whichever bus they rented or something and uh, it was kind of nice 
And I know people also, uh, when they uh, cremated somebody, they brought the, those ashes uh, after cremation the next day and then they would uh, take it over here. There were nice parking spots over there. And then they take it into the ocean and give the ashes uh, into the ocean. So things, some, some of the things that I kind of grew up with, um, experiencing that. Uh, so I, I'm not sure if that big building was the Pacific Theological College. Um, not, not exactly sure, but it's been many years that I've um, actually traveled these roads, probably in excess of 25 years. So um, the landscape has obviously changed. The road is constantly changing there, I know that. Um, <laughs> but this is kind of in the Nasese area. Um, I was told that there is a Nasese private hospital and then uh, which I probably missed um, but uh, it must be there so if you do see it oh and they made some nice little um, huts over there I suppose in dry weather uh, you can escape the sun in wet weather good luck uh, making your way to it through those puddles and escape the rain I uh, don't know why you would do that uh, if you have, if you are in a car, but it's there. And to the left hand side, I think is a little police post. Um, didn't see any policemen in there, uh, but uh, it's all good. Uh, not sure what the big building on the right hand side was. Uh, so if somebody knows, you can definitely make a comment and let me know. So we continue. Um, along the coast and uh, just uh, enjoy the the rain and the the wet weather I guess what you see here is the governor's residence um, the big uh, area those big trees have been there a very long time and uh, on the left when I panned the camera the other way um, connected to the governor's residence is Thurston Gardens um, used to be used as a nice spot for people to go and meet up or something and the way I'm pointing at uh, there was that little park and when I was very young my older brothers and uh, family members um, who have all migrated overseas they would be out there and in the evenings and they would all be practicing Kung Fu or Karate or something out there I don't really remember I was just there eating dirt I guess at the time so, <laughs> um, but as you can see uh, right now, that's the governor's uh, area, all those white uh, posts. And in there somewhere um, is where the, there's a guard that stands there. I guess they are from the military, from the army. Um, I've never been inside there. I don't know if uh, you have to be a dignitary or somebody special to be there. Oh, that's the guard shack right there in the, between those two posts. That's where the, the guy stands uh, at attention. Looks very cool with his Sulu and red shirt. Uh, we didn't see him today. Uh, I guess the rain might have. Um. And then uh, over here, this is, uh, um, it's, I think the sign was Umaria Park. Uh, so not sure how, um, probably there's a gentleman by name of Umaria. So uh, they renamed that park or it might have been that the name of that park anyways um, so it's a wonderful um, area to be at the parking is free there's no um, paying or anything uh, as of right now as of this video uh, could have been but uh, I'm not aware but we just stopped briefly and just continued and I don't really think there is so again I'm looking at those old trees uh, Thurston Garden and somehow the Thurston Garden is also connected to the Fiji Museum which is on the other side which is another very nice place to go to but since I am part of the artifact you can say <laughs> well I'm not that old but uh, there is some really cool stuff out there to see if you're just visiting Fiji for the first time or just going for some historic um, learning and now we are uh, this park here is uh, Albert Park to the left is the Grand Pacific Hotel, which is, which has been grand as long as I knew. Uh, when we were trying to look for prices uh, at the GPH, 
um, from the US. I think it was all sold out, but the price uh, that was quoted to me was um, it was in excess of two thousand dollars American. So there's no way I'm spending two thousand dollars for a night at GPH when I can, um, you know, uh, take my money much further elsewhere. Um, we did book at, uh, at the next uh, hotel uh, over, which was IHG. Uh, in the olden times, it used to be called the Travelodge, and I think they just uh, this one here with the uh, roof, the brown roof. Um, it's a Holiday Inn right now, so that was a little bit more reasonable, but still very expensive, three hundred fifty dollars American a night. So uh, we kind of dumped that one also and went to something cheaper. On the right hand side is the government buildings and we are still on the Queen Elizabeth Road, um, uh, Queen Elizabeth Drive actually. So now we are at the, uh, almost at the heart of uh, Suva. So there's the, some buildings on the side I actually forgot. There was a reserve bank somewhere there and then to the left was the Inland Revenue Building. Um, not exactly sure, but uh, I'm sure if you look it up on the map, you'll probably find something over there. Um, so UNDP, Pacific Office in Fiji, that's somewhere out there. And uh, we, as we are headed, uh, we continue north. Um, there is some nice... Uh, there was a, a restaurant by the name of Curry Place. I don't know if they are still in existence. Uh, somewhere on the right hand side of that. And to the left used to be a old library uh, and Olympic pool. I remember we used to go over there and um, have, have lots of fun over there. So these are all new stores and businesses. Um, uh, Fintel used to be a thing at that time. Uh, I think that road up there had curry, curry house or curry, curry place, something like that. They made really nice food. Um, this this building on the on the left hand side, I think it might be the old post office or something postal. But is so the road that we are actually on is called Victoria Parade, and as we make this turn, this this little loop is called the Town Hall Road. And to the left, you see those uh, that nice big building that uh, behind that bus stop. Um, that's the Suva Civic Center and as we turn that road again the name of that road changed again to Stinson Parade Road and here we are at the corner of uh, Stinson Parade and Victoria Parade um, the bank you see on the left is Westpac Bank Westpac Bank used to be called the BNZ Bank of New Zealand and they changed the name right there to Western Pacific, Westpac. Um, not sure how that happened, probably change of ownership or something. But uh, that corner right there used to be pretty uh, busy, busy corner here. And um, I didn't turn the camera to the right hand side, but uh, there was some other fancy store at the very corner there. I can't uh, remember the name. Um, so again, uh, ask the audience for help if you uh, remember what the name of that road, uh, what that business used to be, uh, please let me know. And uh, as we turn, um, we kind of looping back south and we're going to pass, pass the McDonald's. You might have seen a flash on the right hand side. Um, there were some nice big EV trees um, and that was uh, Sukuna Park again, going back down Victoria uh, Parade. And that's the old post office. So we're just kind of making a circle, you know. Um, you kind of tend to do that when you're just kind of touring the place. <laughs> and I think we wanted to go inside uh, on the inner roads of the uh, the civic center. So here we turn in. And uh, things have changed. It used to be all free parking. You could go and sit by the dikes and uh, just catch a breath of fresh air and stuff like that um, not exactly sure what this is but I think we were asking the guards um, if they'd allow us to go in and, um, yeah because we weren't going to just park over there we just kind of we're going to make a quick loop and then uh, take some 
photos and videos and and just kind of look back around so they were kind enough and they said yeah sure go go for it Ila Julum Fala Lone Suvake, number one fala. YouTube video, Mary. So, after exiting the civic center and thanking those guys, um, Fiji style, um, you know, having a little bit of fun and cheer. Um, we turned around back into the Stinson Parade and as you can see that was a boat that got stranded or something and it became Tico's Seafood Floating Restaurant or something that's been there for many years now. And as we continue on Stinson Parade, uh, we decided to go to the Handicraft Center which is um, the Suva Handicraft Market. It's uh, a shopping mall going back into that, uh, that loop. Um, but since you know Suva is so busy and so it just there's this parking problems all the time over there so we just did not go there and I think we just wanted to continue straight straight down the Stinson parade right next to the Suva uh, market and uh, um, the Suva municipal market and that's the wharf uh, it has changed the ports authority has changed it a lot uh, it was a time when it was all open you could take your um, vehicle all the way to the uh, to the wharf and then the tourists the big ships the P&O cruises Oriana ships and all those uh, would be out there and uh, the tourists from Australia and New Zealand would throw those little um, streamers to us and then they throw the Fiji money even the Fiji money, the coins have changed now. Um, so uh, <laughs> that's just some history there for you. These areas over here, Williams and Gosling, that they have been there like since the beginning of time. They should also be given that uh, museum status um, because of their age, um, being in business over there and providing a landmark. Um, and we're just getting thrilled, you know, driving on the wrong side of the road, uh, trying to figure out um, not to get messed up with going to the other side because you can easily do that um, going from the US to, to Fiji after so many years. Uh, that's all the shipping yard, uh, containers and goods. So this here is another roundabout. Um, and I think uh, this is now the uh, Harris Road over here and as we uh, go through this this loop um, on the left is Foster Road um, and uh, that's the way we came um, when we drove in from Navua with our adventures uh, at the Navua River and all this and we turn around and loop back again and uh, we pass Edinburgh Drive but because it's one way so we don't go into Edinburgh Drive we just kinda loop back into Rodwell Road and this will take us to the Suva Market to the Suva Flea Market and back down south into um, get, get a better view of the other side because that was all one way I think these are all one way roads so um, this way we can see the Suva market which happens to be on the right hand side. My cameraman was my son who was holding who was on the left side of the car and 
Uh, so you can see super flea market. Um, I've never been in there, so this is something new. I could have been, it looks like a pretty old building, but uh, I haven't been there. Um, so these are all newer buildings for me. Yeah, may have been there forever, God knows. Um, so we continue and uh, somewhere along there um, we were uh, we used to come there for to some supermarket uh, and it could have been this market here where they where they sold the passion fruit ice cream uh, tip top ice cream couldn't find that but there you see the hot bread kitchen another one that uh, another thing to get from there is the the cream bun um, the cream bun is it is something that every Fijian knows about or should know about because uh, it's a favorite for pretty much everybody you know uh, whether you are in Australia, New Zealand, Canada, America, England wherever you are uh, and you are of Fiji descent you'll know about cream bun anyways now looking to the right hand side is the Suva market um, things have really changed drastically over there used to be the bus stand somewhere around there and everybody used to uh, get on the bus and uh, you know um, go around it was very easy access get off the bus and straight into the supermarket um, I wish I had the time um, to go and explore the supermarket again but uh, I hear it's very dangerous now there's a lot of uh, chain snatchers pest snatchers and all that kind of stuff and also it was wet we were really didn't have that much time so we just kind of um, just drove around and, and did our thing that big building like that big wall uh, Tapu city is written there I've never been inside there maybe somebody can enlighten me and tell me what that's all about but it sure looks very ugly it spoiled the whole image of the city from that particular angle but that's just my opinion it could be something nice god knows what what it is inside um, but as we come along over here this is i think the harbor center somewhere um, i remember many years ago that used to be a very nice uh, fish and chips place and pizza and the little creek that we crossed is the nambukulo creek um, somewhere out there next to coming street was the Terry Terry walk they used to sell fish and chips for 50 cents uh, I was a lot of uh, fried fish with chips it was really good um, so that's another thing um, I don't know if they are still in existence um, I'm sure 50 cents won't be won't take you anywhere now <laughs> uh, especially as expensive as Fiji is getting but this is just uh, my perspective uh, talking about 25-30 years ago. So at this point I think we are on um, Scott Street or Edward Street, um, not 100% sure, I know one is going one way and then the other one's going the other. Um, so there is that uh, Vodafone and that, that those trees that you see, um, that's a EV triangle and EV is a fruit when it bears fruit that's a favorite for everyone um, from Fiji also. It's uh, something that you boil and it becomes like um, like hard cashews, um, but it's kind of soft, something similar. I, I don't know how to describe it, but it's uh, it's one of those things that if you are a Fijian, you know. Uh, Fiji Indians call it navy, so I'm not sure how navy came about the name, but uh, it's called Evi in Fijian. So um, that's the tree that we just saw on the left hand side. It's out of the view right now, but uh, it's like the big thing there.
And as we turn around, um, that's uh, Maurice Hedstrom, um, which used to be a famous supermarket uh, at the time. And uh, just around the corner uh, on the other edge was uh, the Nambukalo Creek. And uh, we visited that the last time. Um, the fishermen would come every Saturday and then people would go buy of them right there. And this corner here used to be Hop Tie and Company. Uh, it's another um, stores that was famous for vegetables and all that. And uh, I think this is now Waimanu Road. And this goes all the way up to um, the hospital, CWM, Colonial War Memorial Hospital. And as we continue up, the the hill to the left here is Mark Street and this is a very famous hotel I, this one here um, forgot the name of that corner but uh, there used to be a pawn shop up there on the left hand side and the right hand side a very central you know the heart of Suva so as we continue climbing up see there was another pawn shop on the left side and somewhere here used to be uh, RB Patel um, and the Lilac Theatre, uh, we used to go watch movies there and uh, things have all changed now, names have changed, businesses have come and gone, um, if somebody remembers something, please let us know. So it's really looking very wet still, but uh, it's a wonderful, wonderful experience. I don't remember what I was telling them over here as I was driving. But a lot of these um, is very familiar, old um, buildings. And this road going down here, I think it would take you straight into, back into Suva also, it just kind of reconnects. And then there was a hotel ocean view on the right hand side. Um, was, um, the reason I remember that is because it was around that corner on the right hand side and I wish my son would turn the camera that way, but it was, at quite a height and you could see all the way all, all of Suva at that time and uh, it was interesting because uh, it comes to mind because it uh, was a distant relatives uh, family's hotel or something like that and at this point I think we are already at the hospital and uh, Waimanu Road um, not exactly sure could be Waimanu Road Now this street here is Vunivalu Road, um, very familiar with this, just uh, we had some neighbors, family, friends over here and uh, this is somewhere um, we spent um, uh, my childhood growing up here at the corner, this is the, the roundabout. On the left hand side there was another very famous guy in uh, Modesto, living in Modesto now and uh, this house over here was my uncle's and then the one all the way to the back um, is where I grew up and uh, things have really the landscape the house the the garages there were three big doors you know um, everything is just completely different now it just is is just totally a different place um, so I just thought I'd just give you a quick clip of that and as we uh, continue out of this street on the right hand side was Mrs. Sharma's house looks totally different on the left hand side you see that kind of steep driveway that's uh, I think there were some Chinese folks living over there and that's the first time I saw them killing a pig right on the driveway it was kind of freaky uh, the pig was squealing and crying and all that and they were just hacking at it and then on the right is Ipeli street and that white house you see was Taylor's house I uh, don't remember her name, they live in Modesto, I think. Now we have um, come into Ratumara Road and this is the band that uh, used to have so many accidents at one time, many years ago. 
and to the left used to be a little poultry farm and a little uh, shop there called Jaikali store and uh, this is now headed straight into um, I think on the right hand side is Grantham Road and uh, this road uh, Ratu Mara Road is going is going to end up into Nosori and here we are past Nosori town and we have made it, it to the old uh, feeder road I think um, I hope it's, um, I'm correct here but this will take us to the old Air Pacific hangar which is now called Fiji Airways and this is where I started my career as an aircraft engineer many 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 years ago um, we I got an interview there used to be a little building on the left hand side somewhere and that's where I had my job interview and after that went through all those uh, the little hoops that they made me go through and um, ended up as an employee of Air Pacific for um, like almost 10 years after that I migrated to the US uh, all these buildings are new to me uh, that building that I'm pointing at that used to be the uh, credit union Air Pacific credit union and every Friday we used to do a Lovo with there and uh, everybody puts in like a two dollars or five dollars each and uh, um, you know uh, we were able to get a Lovo done and that's the remains of the old Air Pacific hangar um, talking about uh, 1990 uh, in that era uh, early 90s uh, that's that's where I, I started and to the left hand side used to be uh, Fiji Air um, over here and uh, um, then it became the Fiji military's helicopter unit uh, I think the French government gave them some dolphin helicopters and I don't know whatever happened to those I haven't heard about them since uh, but that's that's what it was and I see a few planes uh, parked over there I'm not sure sunflower was very fond of finding the uh, the popo plantations I don't know why they used to like landing into those um, it could be some of those remains of those planes there I, I don't really know and no offense to any sunflower engineers out there but uh, uh, you know what I mean <laughs> So we stopped over here and then we said hello to the security guard who um, wanted to come over and uh, talk to us and uh, I guess he saw the, the rental car um, side, you know, on the side was, uh, it had the rental car logo or something. Uh, so he wanted to just have a quick chit chat, He's probably bored sitting there. So we had a quick discussion and then we talked about some planes and stuff and history of that place and all that kind of stuff. No, I don't remember that one. Maybe I left at that time then. That one in 98 or 97? 98. That yeah. means I left 98. That or 87, yeah. That first flight here. Yeah. First flight. I, I think it's. The first flight here to go to Nandi. Nandi, yeah. Oh! That's, uh, that's, that Fiji, Fiji Airways? Fiji, yeah. No, yeah, Fiji Airways. Fiji Airways. Yeah, Fiji Airways. Fiji Airways. Fiji Airways. Yeah. yeah, the little one, Fiji Airways. Oh, I need to. So, Kaki says I can visit. So, we've been driving all through Nosori town and the rain has not stopped. It's getting heavier and heavier. And it's 6.46 p.m. When is it? Right then? August. Sida? Okay, left, right, Sida. Okay, it's 6 46, quarter to 7 pm, and the rain has not let up at all. It just gets heavier and heavier, and then lightens up and heavy again. So, now we are going to uh, um, Rishi Ram's wife, Josephine's Bhabi.
and so after that raining evening uh, the next morning we decided to just uh, take an early morning uh, tour of uh, Suva again and you see the traffic is all kind of eased up uh, I think it was very early so this is going down Mark Street um, and to the right was a pawn shop town and country pawn shop that used to belong to my parents somewhere up there on the second floor of um, that building in the corner um, that was the Metropole Hotel I'm not sure uh, and next to the Fiji rubber stamp company so uh, that was that uh, and then here I think we are talking about Roop's Big Bear um, which has some very high ratings so still cycling through city So after that uh, quick drive through and after checking out of the hotel um, we started uh, on our journey back uh, so we'll be going through Navua um, through um, to Nandi to Singatoka through Singatoka to Nandi and then today is the last day of our trip in the Fiji Australia New Zealand Fiji um, trip and uh, this is the final day so I think our flight was in the evening um, and we are in Suva so because traffic speeds are very low and uh, it's great for tourists to kind of slow down and look at look around so we did just that and uh, enjoyed our um, journey back stopping uh, in Navua to have some passion fruit ice cream and stuff like that and here I've uh, included some uh, still pictures that we took along the way as you can see there's the ruka that uh, i know uto lots of popos there's the cream bun right there a cinnamon roll uh, passion fruit and um, and there we are roasting the, the the ruka and it comes out like that and you peel it and with a little pinch of salt have that wonderful things um, to enjoy and those are the buses and just on the traffic i think that's the bus stand right there suva bus stand um, people just uh, coming out uh, that's where the uh, pawn shop was uh, town and country Mark Street still view on the building on the right hand side the Suva Wharf um, yeah and that's uh, Indian College which has been renamed to Jainarayan High School or Jainarayan College um, that is the school that I went to for high school and so that's why there's a few extra pictures in here um, that was like uh, I think it is from form 1 to 7 so which is like um, grade 9 through grade 12 I think or 13 and there you have um, that's where we stopped along the side alongside the road and then uh, we went to that place in Navua because without having a final ice cream passion fruit ice cream you know the trip is not complete stopped in Singatoka um, for the pizza and then here we are continuing back um, to the Nandi we are airport. headed back to Nandi from Suva we're going via Queens Road we made a stop at the Navua village bought some handicraft from the village had an ice cream Taka's passion fruit and banana split chocolate, and a banana split chocolate. Very sweet now. and we are driving so you can see the speed is only 60 kilometers per hour which is like very slow so we're slowly crawling our way back to Nandi and on the way oh look at that beautiful ocean weather see that island over there on the left that's that's Benga that's Benga island 
Should we leave 10? Okay, then. okay, then we continue. And the time is 10 to 1 p.m. And look at that view. Beautiful day, a warm day. So after our beautiful trip, it was uh, the end of our journey and we headed home back from Nandi, got on the plane, uh, Fiji Airways to the empty halls of Los Angeles and made it back, I started driving on the correct side of the road and uh, headed back home out of Los Angeles. Thank you for watching. If you really liked it, please like and subscribe my channel. Uh, it doesn't cost you anything, but it, it really motivates me to produce more content. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day.